All right, TV golf may never be the same now that Tiger Woods has become beatable. In his first tournament of the year, Woods crumbled over the weekend at San Diego as a five-time winner, Torrey Pines. Tiger's put himself in great position after a pair of 69s in the first two rounds. He stumbled badly on Saturday and Sunday with rounds of 74-75. He finished in 44th place. This is not good for the sport of golf. For years, tournament ratings fluctuated as much as 50%, depending on how Woods performed. He won nothing a year ago in what he called the worst year of his life. He lost his wife and a million dollars in endorsements for his highly publicized infidelity. Woods emerged over the weekend saying he was ready for a comeback. He might be ready, but it's apparent his game is not. History shows it becomes very difficult to play this sport at a high level once you reach the mid-30s. Tom Watson won eight majors, but the last one came when he was 34. The same for Arnold Palmer. Tiger Woods is now 35. The tour is negotiating a new contract with the TV networks, and make no mistake, everything is hinging on Tiger Woods. No one is pulling for Woods more than his fellow competitors. 20 years ago, only one player, Curtis Strange, earned a million dollars in prize money. Last year, 90, 90 players made a million or more thanks to Tiger Woods. No one, not Palmer, not Nicholas, not Trevino, could move the needle like Tiger does when it comes to viewing this sport on television. Bottom line here, folks, what Woods does behind closed doors is nobody's business. But how he performs when the camera light comes on is a whole new deal. Like it or not, the man really is bigger than life when it comes to the future of golf on TV. That's Jack Smack.